Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever you are, whoever you are. You, know, you never know who's watching these things. Ah, yesterday was a little interesting. New Year's Eve was rough. It was a really stormy night. My vehicle, Dharma was rocking back and forth all night. The wind was crazy. It was just like gusts of like 40 miles an hour winds. It felt like it was lifting up my vehicle. It was fun, but anyway, it was like that. It was like being on the ocean. That's what it felt like. But anyway, but we got through it. Yay! Anyways, I'm just gonna, you know, going easy. I'm gonna just throw out a couple tips real quick for camping and full time traveling, and I'm gonna kick rocks for the day. I have some really good ideas that I've been working on. Um, I need to go back over these videos from the very from the very first one. And I'm going to start writing some stuff down. Maybe I'm thinking about writing a book. But I'm also going to do, I'm looking for things I could use for a comedy routine. Because I know I got a lot of good funny stuff in there. And what else? Plus I still need to work on a couple other things. And plus I'm going to see if I can paint maybe today instead of the sun. Which would be nice. But two tips today for winter time when you're full time traveling. And you could, people always usually just start up your vehicle, run it for 10 minutes, and that's a good way to just heat up, but, you know, you use fuel either way. But, yeah, you can do that way. And I usually use fire pits, and this one right here is a big fire pit that I got from my dad. And he let me use it. Basically, he had, like, a screen and a top part and lid and all that stuff, but I just needed that part for the fire. Plus, I could, it's, like... Uh, portable that way you don't have to make fire rings so I could literally just park out in the middle of the desert and then just make a fire and then leave and nobody will even know I was there no fire rings or anything and, and a good way to do it for like this morning I got up early and I started a fire and it took a second because it was freezing and then once you slowly built the fire you know you're good to go I always recommend getting lighter fluid yeah, I have some so I wanted to show it to you there's some lighter fluid it worked great for starting fires. It's, the funny thing was I was doing this stuff when I first, you know, I was like, I'm going to do it old school, you know, because I could make a fire real quick. And I can, but it was a lot of getting up and chopping up wood, making little tiny pieces of wood, and then kind of, you know, I was really meticulous about it. And then after a while, I'm like, screw this. Like a year of this, I'm just like, just pour some lighter fluid on it. You can literally just pile, pile some small pieces and pour some lighter fluid and you're good. You don't even have to worry about paper. It's awesome. And, and but another thing I was going to mention is you these are kind of hard to find sometimes, especially when they're because the legs come off, so it's really more portable for my vehicle. But a cheap way to do it is just get a hibachi. A lot of times they have um, basically, you know, what do they call them. Um, I had one that was, um, God, I can't think of the word right now. Basically, it just folds in, so it had legs that fit, folded in on itself. It was really compact, but you could still make a fire pit out of it, even a small little hibachi. And one other thing I was going to mention was this thing right here. This is a basically a heater that you use a propane tank with. If you can see, it's basically this plastic piece right here. And it's got a propane top that you just screw on and you just turn this knob. And yeah, you just turn it on and light it. It's that simple. And it really, it's, you can't leave it in a closed place because of, you know, the, the, you know, carbon dioxide and all that stuff, but um, it, I were it, this morning it kept my hands warm while I was making the fire, basically, and so that's it. And I guess I'll show you my face real quick before I go. I love you. <sighs> anyway, this is the adventure, right? So we made it. We survived. We still need to work on ourselves. We need to get rid of some toxic behaviors and old ways and shine bright, people, and work on yourselves and and. Work on love, and you're always going to be good enough, even if you think you're not. I'm good enough, and now I'm going to go look for love. And I once had love, and it, it blew up in my face. We always, you know, you all know that chestnut. Anyway, but I'm looking for new love. I'm looking for somebody who's going to be there. Somebody's going to call me up and say, you're mine, and that's the end of it. And I'm not going to wonder for a minute. That's going to be nice. I look forward to that. Anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is really digging your progress. So... Have a wonderful new year, and I will too. And of course, look where I'm at. Isn't this stupid? Nobody's here too. So it's all mine, kind of.
except for the people at the bottom of the hill. Anyway, love you. Have a wonderful day.